So it's the big day, and you need to wear a tie. Now I'm going to keep looking at the screen here. Anyway, whatever. It's the big day, you need to wear a tie, um, and, but you don't know how to tie it. Here's how you tie a tie. Um, first off, you need a collar shirt. This is not a collar. It has a collar, but this isn't the type of collar that you need for a tie that you tie yourself that's not a clip one. Um, what you need is a shirt that has actual has actual collar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into this shirt here and I'll come back and I'll show you how to tie a tie. And the type of tie that I'm going to tie is going to be a full Windsor and a half Windsor, which are two of the most popular ones. So I will walk you through that. I will be right back. And back. Okay. So now you got your shirt on, got your collar shirt on, you're all buttoned up. Uh, what you need to do now is you need to take the collar and flip it up. So you gotta take this and flip it up. So start at the back, pull the back up and then pull the front up. Now you look like this. You look like you got two little flappers here that are like pointing straight out. You get that, then you get your tie. Your tie is gonna have two, two um, ends to it. There's gonna be the wide side here and then there's going to be the little narrow side here. The narrow side always goes behind the wider side and you want this side towards the what is it? right side. So you want them on your right side. So your whatever your right side is, I'm not sure which way is right on the camera here. I know this is my right hand. I'm pointing to my right which I guess is that way. Anyway, whatever. So, take this, the wide side, put that in your right hand, take this side, the little narrow side, which is, you see is smaller, put that in your left hand, and you flip this around behind your neck. And what you're going to do is you're going to feel back here. I can't see if I'm on camera or not. There's a space here in the back of the shirt. I'll take the shirt off at the end and show you this. But there's a space back here right where the, the collar of the shirt folds. You want to make sure that you get the tie right in the middle and right up at the top there. So I hope all that was in camera. If not, let me know. I'll re I'll rewatch the video and then edit it as needed. And what you want to do is you want to have the right side, the wide side, a little bit further down. So it should come down as far as your hand will reach. Your right hand will reach. So you take your right hand, take this in your right hand, go all the way down as far as you can reach, hold it there. This side is just going to hang out. So then what you do is you do this get limber you gotta work out for this so take the wide side which is all of this and I guess maybe I should do a wide shot on this so you guys can really see but this is where the focus is going to be up here not out here at the end so start with your right take the right side go over over top of the left side of the little strip so you got that so you're crossed over then you're gonna keep going with this one you're gonna come around the back so you come around the back so now you look like you're pulling it around in some sort of weird crazy twisted knot and then what you're gonna do now after you've done that is you're going to come back around again so now you have it you've gone around twice so you come over you go back and you go over again now at this point you're going to pinch it take your right hand pinch that 
take your left hand in the wide part and you're going to come up behind it so you're underneath here like you're trying to scratch your chin because it's itching you try to scratch but you're going to bring the tie with it and you're going to push it up through there so you get it up there but make sure you have it the right way see right now it flipped over so you got to go in here and you got to fiddle with it and turn it over so it's smooth side out so this little this little loop will come into play later we'll, I'll show you that in a second so now you're here you're almost at the completion of a half Windsor and what you do now is the piece that you're pinching this part right here you're going to take your finger go in behind right here and you want to open it up just enough for you to take the piece the wider part of the tie that you just shoved up through and scratched your chin came out and you want to tuck it down and just stuff it down in that little hole just stuff it stuff it stuff it and then when it comes out just pull pull it down pull it down and then you left hand little tiny piece hold that right hand wide piece snug it and you want it you want a little gap here so you can snug it so you can get the knot right that's the half windsor knot so at this point you dress your tie so it looks nice so it's not like all bunched up here like somebody you know like grabbed you by it pull it so it's nice and round over and then left hand little thin piece hold that right hand you grab the knot both sides and then you shimmy it up shimmy it to where you're comfortable I and mean, don't shimmy it so you're like wah, 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 wah. but just shim it so where you're comfortable go around make sure that you're not twisted over anything on the back everything is straight and then at that point you flip your collar down and you're good to go now before you're completely good to go take the little half piece the little smaller piece I gotta keep in camera here and the big piece that little loop that's back here that's where this goes you take that and you shove it in there yeah that's in there and then now when you pick your tie up that is looped in there so everything stays so you don't look like a you know like you have uh, some string tied around your neck and these pieces are flapping around They're they're both held together and they'll stay and if you did it correctly the bottom of this the tip of the wide part should be right at the top of your belt or covering your belt buckle and that's your half Windsor all right for the full Windsor and it's been a while since I've done that one let's see if I can remember how to do it take your and once you tie your tie you can always undo it fold your collar up undo it wide enough so you don't pull the knot out and if you need to wear a tie every day or whatever for your job for your new job or you're going on interviews every day or for that once in a blue moon occasion what you do is you'll just pull it out so it's big enough to slip over your head you pull it over your head and then when you need a tie you go in your closet grab your tie out already tied slip it over your head snug it up you're good to go all right let's undo this and this is going to be the same procedure for the full Windsor so same as before a little piece left hand a little tiny one the wide one in the right hand holding the tip of this with your right hand go all the way down as far as you can go pull it tight and now let's see if I remember how to do the full Windsor so I'm going to try to stay in camera and actually watch in the mirror so I can see what I'm doing so you take this you go around same as before around and back around back around again oh wait no 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 I'm sorry correction <laughs> over it's been a while I, I it's coming back to me so right hand over to left and you come around and you take the right hand you go up over the top here so you go over up over the top 
and down and then you come around and then you come come around with the big piece then you go around and then up through scratch your chin up through and then you go down in the little loop that you made and this is the second loop not the first one the second one so you go down and through and then you snug it up at your full Windsor knot and you see the distinct difference in that is that it's more v-shaped same procedures before fix it so you don't look like somebody grabbed you by it and tried to choke you you can try to snug it tighter if you want it tighter if you want a nice big wide Windsor knot and what you'll do is like when you watch television shows and movies and the actors are wearing ties you'll look and you'll be able to distinguish who tied the half Windsor and who tied the full Windsor and if there's a continuity error where they tied a half Windsor in one scene and then they tied a full Windsor in the next scene. That's really neat to pick those up. You'll be laughing. You'll be like, he tied a half Windsor. Now he tied a full Windsor. And there you go. You pull your collar down. And now you have a full Windsor. And that looks di completely different than a half Windsor. So I hope you found this helpful, useful, and you enjoyed watching me from my nose down to my neckline here. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, if anything was unclear, let me know. Uh, post a comment below. I'll try to answer the question as best I can. And, you know, if this was really helpful, share it with your friends. Um, looking to try to boost my subscribers. Uh, the 20th is fast approaching for uh, February 2018. And at that point, um, YouTube's going to just go ahead and demonetize all my videos. So <laughs> I'm just going to be doing this for free. Not that I'm not doing it for the fun of helping you out but you know I am trying to turn this into you know something for my own amusement to help fund my own projects and also to I guess provide useful and useful and entertaining information as opposed to just making videos of shenanigans that doesn't mean anything I mean, not to say that I won't do that, but it'll be some lesson to be learned in it. Alright, thanks a lot. Appreciate you watching. Thumbs up. See you next time. Almost forgot. On the back of the shirt, where the collar is, right here, an inch where my hand over, right here. This is the top of the fold. This is the bottom of the, uh, the collar. So right in that area, that's where you want to line the tie up. And that's about the middle of the shirt in the back. Um, this one has like a little pleat fold right here. Is that coming up? Yeah, you can see it. It has a little pleat fold right here. Some shirts have a hook right here in the middle. Um, a loop of fabric right in the middle. Similar to the uh, tag here but it'll be on the opposite side but yeah that's where you want to line your tie up is right in between these two areas here so I did say I was going to show you that I didn't forget alright again thanks for watching see you next time